Hello everyone and welcome back to Malik's Plays. Um, pretty sure we left off... Yeah, we're on that mission. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, smashy, smashy. This is the first time I actually believe that uh, head bashing someone repeatedly would kill them. Mostly because it's an orc, I guess. Alright, so. Loot, loot, loot. And continuing on. So, kind of excited. Uh, basically, today I just found out about the EA's. Um, the Origins uh, on the House feature, which is uh, the first game out was Dead Space. So, I think you guys will be seeing me scream like a little girl uh, in a couple of weeks or a couple of days. I haven't decided yet. Um, I really want to keep with Skyrim, uh, mostly because I've been, been enjoying this immensely. And. Sorry. Oh, healing up. Helps if I actually re-equip it. Um, and I think, I, I actually think this is a good idea. A lot of companies are doing this now. Xbox has been doing it a while for people who are members of their Xbox Gold. Um, and those have been, it's like a little taste of like, you get, it's mostly the older games, which is, which is fine. They're not making as much money off of them. In, and I can understand like, you know, this will get people interested. Maybe the series will buy, you'll buy Dead Space 2 or Dead Space 3. Um, they're saying they're doing this with expansions too, which sounds like they're going to do stuff with Sims. I think they're just trying. To, I think they're trying to reach a broader audience. It's a good idea. I also think it's buying goodwill because it's about that time of year when they're going to start voting for your worst company in the world. Uh, and I personally think they're just kind of doing it so they won't. They're kind of buying the vote of like, look, they're they're really trying this time. Maybe we shouldn't vote them in for worst company in the world <laughs> for a third time in a row. Um, it could be. I'm a little cynical about EA. I've, I've honestly, I've avoided buying Titanfall because um, I was really interested in it until it was mentioned as EA. And I've heard that there's some buggy bugginess for the PC. And they finally started. Uh, also, right today they finally started fixing people who are massively cheating. So that's good. You know, like I mean, they're taking time to. What the hell happened there? I think I think it just might be my controller acting up. That was like literally slide. I just literally slid. Uh, well, it was unintentional. Okay. And oh well, that would have been more epic if I could have just smashed him in the face and like jumped. But so I'm kind of interested in playing Dead Space uh, it is going to be uh, I have played it before um, I own it on the Xbox um, and I was considering getting it for a while uh, until another until it got I don't want to say popular um, and I'm kind of giving a tiny small I don't want I didn't I don't want to give shout outs to other channels um, not because it's like I don't want to it's that you know blog it's <laughs> I don't, I just feel like it's like, you know, I'm going to offend somebody if I give a shout out. Like, But yeah, Team Four Star has been doing um, Crone Plays, uh, and I've enjoyed watching that, and I just feel like I don't, I don't want to, I don't want anything to seem like or appear like I'm writing on the coattails of other people. And pretty much that's the only reason. It's not that, like, I mean, I love the game. Uh, and I think it'd be very entertaining for people to watch me um, jump and swear and scream <laughs> from what will actually come from this. But, like, there's just, like, this whole thing I feel like I should take, you know, I should take the time to pick some things that aren't, you know, being done by others. But, I might just say screw it, because this is actually, I've been, since it's uh, watching Team Four Star play it, uh... It's just gotten funnier, and I've been wanting to play it for a while, so. Um, 
Anyways, back to Gary the Orc. Yes, I want the steel ingot, which means I'm going to have to eat. Oh, actually, that's not a bad idea. It's kind of food. He was just, Gary just got really hungry all of a sudden. Just not sure what happened to him. Gary is high. The giant skiver is not actually here. Like I said, just tripping. Wow, that actually took out a lot of weight. I didn't realize how much weight I was carrying in food. Anyways, Gary is quite happy, the fact that he's, uh... You know, we're gonna get, basically get back to the town and we'll be able to buy that house. And... If we do it right, we might even be able to get some of the first expansions. Or additions, rather. Picking. I love it when they make it ridiculously easy. Okay. So. Can't go that way, obviously. By process of elimination, this way. Whoa. Gary the next day after this with a huge hangover and just like, oh god, I never should eat the skeever tails. Okay. Continuing on, continuing on. So yeah, fairly excited about the the new on the house thing. Um, I'm hoping they'll bring out some better, you know, they'll give like a list or something of what, how long, I mean, it's. I doubt it's going to be week long. I think it's going to be like, probably every month. Like, I don't, I don't imagine them doing a bi-monthly thing like Microsoft did. Whoa, crap. I think I'm going to die in a second if I don't, I don't know why I'm doing it this way, but. I got lucky there. Oh, sh yeah. You could, I have already thought he was a. <laughs> he was one of the guys. So you can already tell I'm a, already a little jumpy. So this is going to be an interesting place to go. Uh, <laughs> with uh, dead space. Uh, um. Oh man, we're going way backwards. Get out of the way. All right. So a little compared, like I, when I first played Dead Space was right, almost about right when it came out. Um, I had gotten it on the Xbox, and I was just at that right age where it's just like you're not a teenager anymore. I was like, God, when did it come out? I could tell you the exact time, but I, I was basically still it was over eighteen, but still had those uh, teenage hormones, which is great when you have anxiety. Um, <laughs> Uh, generalized anxiety, you know, so it's basically the whole the, the whole game I was like having to take breaks because it was giving me panic attacks. Um, so it's like it's kind of what I enjoyed about it is it, it was one of the first games that gave like it's it, it did inspire real terror. Um, and I'm hoping it'll still have the same feel. Uh, I wasn't as scared in Dead Space 2 for obvious reasons that it's been Part of the reason why I think I mentioned before with EA is like they 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 tend to. I dropped it. Yeah, I did. Okay, I put it back. 
Um, EA tends to uh, take a great game, um, take they basically get the publishing rights for it, uh, and then they make their little tweaks. And so the second game might be, you know, Mass Effect 2 was fantastic because of that, but Mass Effect 3 was terrible because they just like they kept generalizing it to make it for everybody. They didn't want it to be like oh only people who like RPGs will like this game. They're like no we want everyone to like this game. We want to make it a shooter, um, which I find to be slightly insulting um, to say that you know that is what we want as fans uh, more or less I was not happy um, Mass Effect 3 was alright I, I, didn't, I didn't hate it as much as a lot of people did I, I don't tend to uh, go into a new game uh, with the expect expectations of oh crap um, I don't go into the game with expectations of it being, you know, I don't try and read into the hype because if you read into the hype, almost 100% of the time, um, it's going to be not as, it's not, the hype is not going to be live up to what it was, especially when they really hype it, which is why, again, why um, Titanfall was just, you know, everyone praised it. Every gaming uh, magazine and article was all about how great Titanfall was. And so I, I took it with a grain of salt and I was just, did not want to take a chance of getting it and being disappointed I spent sixty dollars or you know eighty dollars in some cases um, or whatever you know like the special edition stuff uh, I didn't want to feel like I wasted my money so I decided to wait and see what it was gonna turn out to be like um, and since it is really good I'm really I'm, I mean everyone keeps telling me to buy it um, it probably be something I pick up later um, I don't know if it'll be part of the Let's Plays. I think it might just get it on the Xbox. Um, just because it's like, one, I don't... If it's really easy to cheat, um, I generally wouldn't... I don't do it on... Um, like I said, I have no problem. If you beat, went ahead and beaten the game, that's fine. But this is a multiplayer game, and I have dealt with people who cheat. Um... And I've had real problems. Like I said, I played Mass Effect 3. I played it on the Xbox uh, 360. Uh, and I played the multiplayer quite a bit. And I had to quit a lot of games because they're very strict about who... Some people would start using the uh, infinite missile uh, glitch exploit. And it put me in a position to where I felt I had to leave the games. Because they made it clear if you stayed in the game after you know someone did that and you didn't report it, then you could be at risk for the same thing. And I felt that was wrong, because well, at least that's what they claimed, like that if you could lose your spot because of this. And I was like, you know what, I don't want to risk it. And I got really good. And for people who were like, oh, we're going to you know, just cheat this thing, it, it made me feel genuinely like there was no point in playing because it took all, it takes all the fun out of it when it's a group you know co-op with other groups that's the whole point is that you're supposed to work as a team and but yeah I was kind of lost my train of thought um, I just was not I'm just not sure if I'll get it for the uh, uh, PC just because of the issues with uh, cheating because they didn't fix Basically, from what I read on this article, is that they didn't, or at least the headline just said, they didn't fix the problem. They just banned everyone who was cheating to a server, one server, and now they're all just cheating on there. That doesn't fix the that doesn't fix the problem. That just kind of moves the problem. Uh, there's still going to be people cheating uh, until they can get a system in where it won't allow whatever they're doing for cheating. Um... They could have done that too. I don't know. Um, I'll I'll read into that. But Titanfall, I'm just still iffy because it is EA, and EA is just always about it, it. They don't. I just genuinely don't like where they take games. Sometimes they take good games and then they pretty much just make it so that like they just try and make it squeeze as much money out of it as they can by just taking it and generalizing it. Dead Space Three, from what I understand, uh, lost a lot of its horror genre because of that and they made it more of a generalized shooter and it just seems like everything EA um, starts touching and then they just seem to like let it go they'll publish it and then they let it go and if it turns out really well they will 
um, they'll just, they'll basically, I just see it as, <laughs> it's kind of hard to say, I don't, I don't want to be like a hater of EA. I don't, just because it's what's trendy or, you know, I generally think that what they do is they go, they publish these games, uh, and when they do well, they're like, well, we have the publishing rights. You can't just, you know, self-publish this on your own now. Uh, these are what we want from you uh, to improve in the game before we allow you to have it. And then if they if it does excellent well, they'll buy out the company and then they totally ruin it. Um, so I've kind of I don't I don't want to say I have um I don't I don't boy I don't say boycott EA. I don't think you I don't think boycotting them is going to change anything because they're going to make money regardless. And even if they stop making money, they just probably sell, like, they'd probably just quit. They wouldn't, it, nothing would change. We'd lose a lot of good companies. I think, more or less, I think what we should do is not, well, like I said, I think it's a wait and see thing for me. Like, I don't, I don't say go out, because I can't tell anyone what to say. Sometimes I could be missing, blah, 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 blah. I don't try and misinterpret things. Yeah, okay, so we're going to go ahead and consider, get, you parked me in a corner, buddy. I don't like to be uh, a rabble rouser. I don't think that it helps anybody for me to demand or say, hey, you guys, just let's just ban EA because they want to make money, which is, you know, basically what it comes down to. Um, I, I'd rather say to be honest, look, if they don't, eventually they're going to hurt themselves. Those companies are going to make crappy games and people will stop buying them. Um, they're not, you know, I think boycotting should be about serious issues, stuff that's like, you know, life-threatening, like if, you know, I don't like using it. Good example, Walmart basically gets a lot of its stuff, um, clothing, etc., from sweatshops. It, as an example, I don't know, I don't do a lot of research into it. I don't know how much of that's true and how much of it's, you know, true to, you know, every single company. But basically, a lot of companies, you know, if they're, if they're buying their stuff from sweatshops that um, abuse and neglect and, tor you know, like, basically treat people like slaves... Uh, that is something I feel should be boycotted because it's a humanitarian issue. Uh, just because you don't like how a, a company that buys another company treats its products, you know, like, I mean, EA just wants to make money. We all know this. And it's going to buy companies out, and you can't expect companies like BioWare and, you know, I mean, seriously, if you made a great game and you had no rights to use it, basically, if you went through, most companies, <laughs> I'm babbling a little bit, it's kind of a big issue, and I should collect my thoughts, I didn't, I didn't plan on uh, explaining this, but basically, most, if, I've played Game Developer Tycoon, and basically what they say is that the best way to make money in uh, on your game is to do it through a third-party publisher like EA. So uh, getting a game, you know, if you're on, if you're making a game and you publish it through a third party to get, you know, just to be able to get it out more, you you have to understand that you know the company has a right to that title as well because they published it under their name. Um, at that point, you have to know, like, I mean, it's basically, you got to know that you, that's what you're going into, and I'm sure that's, and when they say that, you know, like, well, you're going to do it our way, or we're not going to do it, or, you know, whatever, you've basically given license to that company. So, I can't exactly, you can't blame EA for taking games and making them uh, worse or better, because they're going to do it the way they think is going to make them the most money. Um, I don't blame anybody in this. It's just how it is. It's just how the business is. Um, I don't like it, but I'm a gamer, and um, I don't. If I made if I made games, and I did, I mean, it's what it comes down to. It's like people make games 
not just to entertain other people, but to also make money. And it does suck that that's how it is sometimes, but I don't feel like saying, well, you know, EA, we, I don't like EA, so everyone boycott it. Um, I would say more or less, don't, I would say just for anyone listening, don't buy into any hype. It is the best way to know uh, if a game is any good. Uh, don't listen. Don't listen to magazines because they're paid. They can be paid. Um, basically, anyone who's a major news article for gaming, don't read it into 100%. Go look at independent gamers. Go look at Angry Joe. Go look at people on YouTube who are not paid for their advertisements. Um, and don't buy into hype unless you can get into like a beta. Um, if you personally get into a beta and you really like it and you think it's fantastic, uh, go in, still go in with a grain of salt. And mostly because I've done, uh, I did the SWOTOR beta and they fixed a lot of bugs. But they didn't fix all the bugs and they never fixed the bugs. Um, so I mostly I say take the time to go read into it as you may. Um, always go in with a grain of salt. Don't listen to hype all the time because it's going to bite you in the ass eventually. Um, what the hell's going on? Oh, okay, there it goes. Okay. Okay. Well, anyways, slightly distracted. So, yeah, um,. I'd say, especially with EA, don't, if you don't like it, don't buy it. That's not, but I'm not asking anyone to do that. I'm saying, take the time, think, not, don't think, <laughs> take the time, um, wait, I would say I always say wait a little while, um, wait like a week or two to buy the game, look at reviews from other people, look at people who are independent. Um, and then make a decision from there. If you have stuff like Gamefly, it is fantastic for that reason. Um, Gamefly, because you can rent the game first, if you can. Um, most places like, um, I was going to say Gamefly. Gamefly removed that, um, unlimited PC download, uh, for older games, which is, uh, that's a controversy for another day. Um... So, that's, um, but I'm just saying, it's just, I, I've been kind of wary of EA since the last couple games I've gotten, SWOTOR and, uh, Mass Effect 3, have put me off on the, uh, experience, and, but, you know, I don't like to build, I don't like to play the blame game, I mean, everyone, everyone's responsible for their own decisions and with when it comes to Mass Effect 3 I think a lot of the bad hype had to do with the ending I mean it's hype it, it was the it was all about the hype if they had not hyped up hyped it up as much as they had I think the backlash would have been lower I mean I still think they rushed it rushed the ending I think they rushed the story um, I think they were I think EA I think EA's biggest problem is that they push and they push they don't want a po they don't want to polish they want a date they're very standardized that way they don't say take your time give us a general idea of when it's coming out uh and when that but when we get close to that time we'll check in with you again they're like no we want a date you'll have this finished by this date uh we may extend it depending on the progress you've made but overall you will have to do it this way all right, actually. Okay, so. Anyways, getting back to the game, which I, I don't know if I should do the rants about other games and other companies while I'm playing another game, but I feel like I don't I don't want to just sit here and let show you guys playing the game. I I would rather talk about something. Um, I would even love for my fans to uh tell me, like, like, give me a topic to talk about, because then I can at least structure it a little better. And, alright, so, hold on.
but for the meantime, you know, I'm just going to keep going as is, and once I get some more posts on some forums, uh, maybe even get a Facebook page going for obvious reasons. Um, excuse me. Oof, that was a little louder. I apologize. Um, for the most part, I'm just trying to figure out what to do and where to go with this. Um, I don't know what topics I should talk about. Uh, I can... I probably could talk about the lore of the game if I actually knew any of it. Hello, Lydia. Divines bless you. Give me a house. There's a house available right now. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. All right. I'll be glad to help you. And of course, now, what would you like to purchase? So 500, 300, 200. This seems like there seems like a lot extra here that I didn't notice before. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. All right, so sweet. Okay, so, 50, no, 150, 100, 160, 320, oh, <laughs> okay, going back up, and same as last time, doing a little if there's anything extra I can make. Nope. Alright, so 322. Okay, so that gives me a little bit of money. And uh come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the Great War. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Well, actually, I just want to sell some stuff I just made. Alright, that gets me up to 300 books. Miscellaneous, okay. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College of Music. I could, but I'm not going to do that. Gary doesn't want magic right now. Okay, let me see. I serve Jarl Balkra as steward. So I have three hundred, which of course, don't forget to now. What would you like to purchase? Alright, let's see what I got. Bedroom furnishings, which is entirely going to happen. Kitchen, living room, dining room, loft. There's a loft. Right, let's try bedroom furnishings. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. Next, is there anything else you'd like to purchase? No, that's good. All right, since you're I'm broke. So, broke, heading to my new house. Fairly excited. It's going to go well. Um, and I think we'll call it here. Uh, next time I have a video out, um, I'll probably empty most of my inventory. And we will continue on, probably pick up another companion quest. Um... We'll see how that turns out. Actually, while I'm here, I think I know what the letter is, but... Yep, the Falkreath. Hearthstone. So, that's a thought for Gary. Falkreath's not too far. And... I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so Falkreath is pretty far off, but there are some quests along the way. So it looks like, short of, once we get some stuff picked up, looks like he'll be heading to either Falkreath or he'll be heading up to get his meet with the Highbeards. Or High Hrothgar. In any 
any case, we will call it here uh, as we get to the house. This is Malix, and you've been watching Malix Plays, and I'll see you in the gaming universe.